Hello. In this tutorial, we are covering Selenium Builder, and you know Selenium Builder is very new in the market. So I will try to cover as much as possible, and we will divide it into number of tutorials. So in this tutorial, we will cover number of scenarios. So we'll start with installation part. Then we'll see how to write a script, or you can say how to record and play, because here we are not going to write a script. Uh, here we simply record and play as it is then we'll see how to import and how to export so let's start with installation okay so you can visit their official website selenium builder so you can type sebuilder.github.io you can directly google it as well Selenium Builder. Okay. So you will get this first link. It's quite similar to Selenium IDE, but we have some additional functionality here. One major difference between Selenium IDE and, and Selenium Builder is Selenium IDE was supporting only Selenium RC. But here we will see Selenium Builder that support your Selenium RC and Selenium WebDriver as well. And it's very interesting tool. You will see in couple of minutes. You will love this tool. So simply and it's just a plugin for Firefox. So you cannot install in Chrome and I. Okay. So just click on install. So here it will ask you do you want to allow this plugin so say yes allow so it will start downloading and once it is installed it will simply restart your browser I already installed it okay so once you install it will give you instruction please restart yeah it's coming now so i'm not going to restart because i already have once you restart you can directly check here go to tools option and uh, go to web developer so at last you will get this launch selenium builder so it will take uh, 5 to 10 seconds to load selenium builder as you can see here we are getting some of the options like uh, you can open previous script or suit you can check all the supported commands for selenium 1 and 2 you can manage plugins and the last one which url and uh, which application you want to automate so right now it is capturing the latest one that is uh, sebuilder.github.io so i'm going to automate one small application at a time it's a demo application you can use our application as well so what i need to do simply i need to give this url so let me open this and uh, yeah now it's totally up to you do you want to record in selenium 1 and 2 so i'm going with the latest one called selenium 2 that is known as selenium web driver as well and some issue again i need to restart so go to tools to web developer launch selenium builder yeah it's capturing that url so simply i will click on selenium 2 so you can see it has recorded the first step get is a predefined method here and we are simply are passing this url now to your activity so for this username is admin and password is manager and if I click on login, so it's logged into this particular application. Okay, so now if you go here and check, simply I'm stopping this recording now. So you can see it is doing some action, so it is passing that URL, then it is going to that particular username and it's firing, it's using one command called set element text locator 
it's using id so you look at its username text i entered admin in the same way for password locator it is taking name as pwt and text is manager and finally we are clicking on that login button so it's taking click element and it's using this link text so this is the small recorded script now if you want to run the same you need to click on run so you will get one option called run test locally run test locally means you want to run on your machine itself so you can see here we are getting so many options that you can run the same test case on the source lab right you can run the same test case on the selenium server so just for now run this locally if you run this and just go here you can see it's doing all this activity and if you see here it's getting fast because it's executing all this so let's do this one more time and click on this it's doing all this so this is just a small script for login so let's analyze this so as you go here let me start with this if you click on edit type so you can see i'm getting so many commands so right now under this input uh, section it is currently using set element text set element text just like send keys whatever uh, typing operation you want to perform and uh, if you go here locator so just click on edit locator so right now you can see it's right now using id as username and if you see this is most important and you can see very interesting feature it's giving you suggestion as well it means you can use this css selector you can use this one you can use name attribute as well you can use this x bar and you can use this x bar as well and right now i entered admin right so if you go here and click on edit text you can change this as well this already so let me change it i will take anything from the suggestion take say name username and let it be text has been admin only in the same way you can modify all this so i'm not going to modify this all now if you want to save this you can go to file and click on save okay so i have one folder already created so i will give this script name is login So this script has been saved so now if you go to this particular folder let me show you so this is your selenium builder script and now if you want to check the same you can open in notepad as well i have one software called notepad plus plus so simply it is recording a script in json format so if you know json it's very good if you don't know also it's fine i will show you in a meaningful format it means i can import and i can export also so I, what i will do i will export this now and uh, i can export in these languages okay so what i will do i will export in java now so you are getting this feature java test ng so let's say uh, login active time and java so now if you see this you will see the total web driver code and it's generated automatically you don't have to write so you can see it has recorded the full code it's simply opening a browser they are using some more annotation called before method after method firefox driver wd here they are opening browser they are giving implicit weight as 60 and you can see this it's passing the url and they are using this first they are clearing that text box then they are passing admin in the same way for password and finally click on login so you can see it's generating code automatically so I use web driver you can use RC as well and you can select different different languages 
so this is just a small script let's run a new script so go to file and then say discard and start over so it's taking this url i will suggest you go to the main url this is main url that's automated detecting now we'll run a small script to validate the error messages okay so now click on selenium to now what I will do without entering username and password, I will click on login button. So you can see I'm getting this error message and I need to verify this. So what I will do, I will go to the Selenium Builder and I will click on record a verification and I will select this. So you can see it already captured and the command they have used is verify text present that username or password is invalid please try again so let's try uh, in the second i will give the right username but uh, blank password again click on login again getting the same error message Now again type username and password is manager, click on login, it should log in. So just stop this recording and now let's see. Go to run and run test locally. Before running, let's analyze this. So simply it is passing this URL. It's clicking on login button so this error message should come then again uh, enter the username but don't enter password again click on this so this username and or password is invalid this error message should come again put the username and password as correct and click on button so it should run so let's start go to run and say run test locally running very fast so you can see here it's not matching because it's taking some additional spaces or but in the next time it is matching with the full so again you can export the same on you can convert to selenium one or so like this you can do this recording and you can do this verification as well so let me show you one more thing now if you go to script setting you can see here timeout setting it means implicit weight is 60 you can change it to 120 180 but default they are given is 60 so you can change as per your application because sometimes application takes more than 60 for a particular sec uh, particular elements so like this we will explore we have so many options here so we'll do one by one in this tutorial i am covering this point only in the next tutorial i will show you how you can use this number of steps so we have some functionality that you can add steps before later you can delete the steps okay and you can add the breakpoints so we have so many things we'll cover one by one this is all for this tutorial.